the event kind of grew out of the wine festival. We had started trying to do a little wine auction at our wine festival every year. So we had very marginal success, but I saw an opportunity here and I went up to Nashville in June when it's hot as can be and, the, and went in downtown Nashville to a hotel ballroom and they raised a million dollars. And I said, you know, I think we could get people to come to the beach in April. And it turned out to be right. Chan Cox called me one day on the phone somewhere in 2005 and said, would you and Valerie come down and see me? And so Val and I go down there and he said, I want you to help me start a charity wine auction. We wound up getting started. I don't know that Chan really knew it was going to become what it became because it became the third largest in the country, I think. I don't think any of us knew it was going to be this big. It just completely blew me away. In the beginning, we had an intimate small board. Uh, when we had board meetings, we would go out to dinner all together, all bringing a special bottle of wine and an opportunity to try something that we might not have tried before or to share something that we enjoy sharing. I want to give all the credit to this incredible board that we have. When I went and met with them and asked each one of them individually if they would be willing to join us, this is what I remember from every one of them. Not one of them said, how much does it cost or how much of my time is it going to take? They just jumped in and, and made this happen. One of the most fortuitous things that could happen to us was that a couple had just moved to Destin and they showed up at our dinner that night and uh, they said, we like wine and we just want to get to know some people in the community so we wanted to come and it was Stephen Joan Carter. Well, it's actually the year we moved down to Destin, Florida and uh, Joan was uh, going through the newspaper, the Destin Log, and what did you find in there? There was a very little article about a wine auction and some dinners and a number to call. So I called that number and signed us up and we went to our first patron dinner at Lamar Connerly's and then we went to the auction, we bought a table. And this one table who people we didn't recognize just kept raising their paddle, raising their paddle, buying all these lots and I said, who is that? We need to find out who they are. And I had never been at an auction before. I got very excited with my paddle, and I still do to this very day get excited with my paddle. And I was so excited that I outbid myself. And Stephen pulled down my arm and he said, you're already at 18,000, you already won. And I said, well, it's for the kids. In this community, when you have charity raffles and auctions and things, people go, and if it's around a four, golf for four people and it's worth $500, everybody's going to be at $400. So we had to convince our crowd that they weren't buying a trip or an event or a bottle of wine. They were making a donation to the kids and what you got this as a reward for doing that. So it took us a couple of years to get over the, the hump of, well, it's not worth that. And when that happened, it really started a lot of momentum for us and the numbers started jumping uh, incrementally. I can't even imagine, you know, how many children have been reached over the last 20 years, you know, with what this organization has done and, and their charities and the people that, that work in those charities, what that impact is. So we've got to make this thing last forever. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>